what's going on team proof here and today i'm going to give you guys a video going over how to incorporate concealed angela which is uh one of the promo cards that that bushiro released in their tournament series over in japan and they gave it to a variety of clans spikes being one of them and it's a really good promo it's really strong and i've been i've not really been asked but i've been experimenting a lot with angela and i wanted to give you guys at least my versions of deck lists that I've put together to incorporate Angela and then give you guys a couple of replays on the standard side and on the premium side that kind of showcase what Angela is capable of in both of the formats. So, <clears throat> excuse me, for, for my standard list here, it's a very basic list to where everything that you would expect to see is in there but i tweaked the numbers a little bit so we got the the four and four for safe read and juggernaut maximum four and four for spike bouncer and bracky and then you see I, I used two panther and part of my way to get angela into the deck was that i needed to cut out grade two space for it because i adopted the idea to play over 12 grade or over 14 grade ones I opted to play 15 because I still wanted to keep easy ways to gather soul, most notably through the Bracky Juggernaut uh, Wonder Boy engine, and then of course Jaw Slinger and Gary Gannon, which are my or Gary Gannon being my favorite way to get there because it accelerates your hand while being able to activate Angela at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to be able to achieve that, I figured what's the weakest grade two and arguably panther's the weakest grade two because bracky just gains power for being placed and bouncer accelerates your board and helps you come back from being in a disadvantaged situation so with that i cut out a couple panther and then i use my tech slot and then i cut out one wonder boy because i prioritize angela because i in my opinion she's a definite four of to be able to try to achieve her her plus two or her plus 10k power boost by getting two cards into the soul because that's the easiest way to achieve it especially early on in the game so i know that wonder boy can facilitate her but he is beginning the main phase so there is, there's a turn delay in there on the flip side there's Gary Gannon and Jow Slinger, which can accelerate it during my turn. Jow Slinger being during the main phase and then Gary Gannon in the battle phase. Because if you weren't aware, if you ride up, um, that counts as putting a car into the soul. So then you need to get one other way to get a car into the soul. And I, I tried to prioritize getting it in there um, outside of the Bracky Juggernaut Wonder Boy sequence or the, the trio. So that's the makeup of the grade ones to threes and then i just kept the, the same eight crit four draw four heal setup because it's staple is easy and it helps put a lot of pressure on the opponent now if you wanted to try to maximize wonder boy because you wanted to include him i did come up with a deck list that i haven't really tested it's largely untested but that's mainly because of the tech piece in there and we got this here which is you take out the two panther because in my opinion, it's, there's no reason to play one Panther. We, if you play two, you're still able to search it out with safe read if you need to, while keeping that extra piece in there to be able to use it early as well if you need to. So as a one of, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And Franny makes a much better one of because it's used to being seen in that one of role. So that's where you get Franny in there and Franny can push to the soul during the main phase to be able to activate Angela for us. And then we get in that fourth Wonder Boy in case you feel the need to have four Wonder Boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the, the standard list. And then for the main deck for the premium list I've been testing, it's pretty much the, the same thing. <laughs> Except I took out Wonder Boy and made space for three Acrobat Verde because you need to have that stride fodder to be able to get us through the game. And the beauty of using Angela in premium is that Agrius and Picaro can help activate her pretty much freely for us. So there's not much, there's not as much need to need Wonder Boy in the deck, unless you want to try to incorporate triggers back. But there's not a lot of shuffling that goes on in premium 
as you would be doing in the standard size. So that's why Wonder Boy made the cut there. So that'll do it for the two versions of the decks and give you guys the replays as soon as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed those. That'll do it for me. Until the next one, peace. Be easy.